Hello, my dear students, and welcome to week three overview. During this week, we are going to talk about the cell structure. We are going to talk about chloroplasts, lysosomes, and vacuoles. So the main objective for this lesson is to understand the function of chloroplasts. Identify the importance of lysosomes and vacuoles. So technically, chloroplasts are the part of a plant cell responsible for photosynthesis, where they convert sunlight into energy. While lysosomes are cell organisms that contain digestive enzymes and help break down waste materials. While vacuoles, on the other hand, are storage sacs that store water, nutrients, and waste products in a cell. We are talking about specialized cells. You will be able to explore the concept of specialized cells, identify that cells make up an organism. Specialized cells are cells that have specific structures and functions to perform specific tasks in the body. Examples include red blood cells, which carry oxygen, and nerve cells, which transmit signals. Then we're going to talk about the lesson check, which is basically we are going to demonstrate how the structure and function of cells work together. So cells have specific structures that allow them to carry out their functions effectively. For example, the structure of a red blood cell with its biconcave shape and flexible membrane enables it to carry oxygen efficiently. The structure-function relationship in cells ensures that they can perform their specialized tasks in the body. We are going to talk about moving materials in and out of the cell, the cell membrane permeability. So, the concept of selectively permeable refers to the property of a cell membrane that allows certain substances to pass through while restricting the passage of others. It acts like a gatekeeper controlling the movement of molecules in and out of the cell. This will be the mass open house, so I can't wait to meet all of you.